Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Cook With Me video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW program, but I also provide calories as well. So this is kind of what I would call a bonus video. Rosalie, this one is for you. Rosalie commented on one of my recent videos and asked if I could do a pumpkin bread. So many of you saw I did a recent video for a bunch of pumpkin desserts and she asked if I could do pumpkin bread. And I said, I've never tried pumpkin bread before, but that I would love to give it a try. So of course I went on the hunt for a recipe and I came across this one. This is skinny pumpkin bread or muffins. You can do it into bread or muffins. I'm gonna do it today into a bread. And this recipe is from the pounddropper.com. So another pound dropper the pumpkin bars I believe it was the pumpkin bars that was a recipe of hers and y'all know those were amazing so I've really been enjoying her recipes so I'm not making any modifications with this because of the fact that I've not had pumpkin bread before I'm not really sure what to expect so I don't want to make any tweaks until I try it the way that it is so for the points and calories on this it is it makes 12 slices or 12 muffins so she has some notes here for green two points per serving if using egg whites and light butter or unsweetened applesauce and then for blue and purple two points per serving if made with light butter or one point if using unsweetened applesauce so you could actually just have these be one point so I already have my butter out I actually just saw this note on here just now so I think next time though I'll try it with the unsweetened applesauce and see how it comes out also she has a note here that the gold medal brand of self-rising flour is three points less so one and a half cups is 16 points than generic self-rising flour so keep that in in mind if you're using any other brand of flour that that's going to be higher points so a quick rundown one and a half cups of self-rising flour and like she says use the gold medal for these points one teaspoon of baking powder one teaspoon of baking soda two teaspoons of ground cinnamon a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg quarter teaspoon of ground cloves one teaspoon vanilla extract half a cup of granulated sugar substitute. She uses Lacanto Classic Monk Fruit Sweetener, which is what I use as well. And that's what I'm using today. I'm using actually the rest of it, so I'm gonna have to buy some more. And then she also uses Lacanto Golden for the brown sugar substitute. So it's also a half a cup of zero point brown sugar substitute. I usually use the Lacanto Golden, but I am actually almost out of this one too. So I'm gonna use a half a cup of this Swerve and I'm just gonna have to order me some more classic and golden Lakanto. We're also gonna need one egg or two egg whites, two cups of pumpkin puree, and then the two tablespoons of Lando Lakes light butter made with canola oil or unsweetened applesauce. And I actually have the Lando Lakes light butter made with canola oil. So make sure that is out and getting melted. Mine has been sitting out for a little bit, so it's pretty much melted. I've already weighed out the one and a half cups of self-rising flour. So I've mentioned several times before, anytime I'm using something with flour-like consistency, I always weigh it on a scale. I think this one is like for a quarter cup is 30 grams. So for one and a half cups, you would need 180 grams. So I just weigh it on the scale. It's just a lot more precise because of the way that flour can sometimes pack down in when you're putting it in a measure cup. You usually end up with a lot more if you put it in a measuring cup. So I have the one and a half cups of flour in there. And the other thing I've done so I can get this out of the way is I've sprayed a loaf pan. I have a nine by five loaf pan that I've sprayed with cooking spray. I'm gonna get that out of the way. And I also have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. Okay, so to the flour, we're gonna add one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, and then just whisk that up. All right, set that aside. Now take another bowl and we're gonna crack the egg. And I'm gonna whisk that up just a little bit. And of course I got the shell in there. And then the half a cup of sugar substitute. 
the half a cup of brown sugar substitute. Next, we need one teaspoon of vanilla extract, which I am just a little shy of a teaspoon. So now I'm out of vanilla and sweetener, so you can tell I have been making a lot of desserts lately. So now I'm gonna take two cups of pumpkin. I actually have some in this container that I used for a recipe earlier today. So put the full two cups right in there. And you wanna make sure that you're using pumpkin puree and not the pumpkin pie filling. And then just whisk all that together. Okay, now what we're gonna do is just gradually add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients and stir them together. It'll be easier just to stir it together like this. Now one thing she does specify is do not over mix. She said it can change the consistency. So we're gonna do our best to mix it together without over mixing it. And now what we're gonna do is right before it's all mixed in, we're just gonna add in the butter or if you're using applesauce, add that. So I'm gonna add it now. So I'm just scraping the bottom to make sure there's no pockets of flour like that right there. while at the same time not over mixing. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. Oh, there's one more little pocket. All right, so now take the prepared pan and just pour that right in there. Or if you're doing muffins, then put those in your muffin tins. All right, then just try and smooth it out just so it's even. Okay, now this is going in a 350 degree oven for 40 to 45 minutes. She says if you're doing muffins, then do 15 to 18 minutes or until an inserted knife or toothpick comes out clean. Okay, so I actually put this in for an extra five minutes because when I took it out, it wasn't quite done. I put a toothpick in there and it wasn't coming out completely clean. Now it's coming out a lot better. So I'm gonna let that sit for about five minutes and cool before I take it out of the loaf pan. So I've cut it, that's what it looks like. Looks really good. So we're gonna try this. It's still a little warm. Pretty good. Mm hmm yeah. <laughs> I think spray butter will make it taste, mm -mm. no? Cream cheese frosting. Oh yeah. Yeah. The consistency is would you say like brownie-ish? Cake-like? Yep. Yep. Cake-like? I guess... Shh. Oh yeah, uh, Cool Whip. Cool Whip or Whip Topping. There should be something right there in the door. Yeah, yeah some fat-free Ready Whip would be good on it. I think even just some spray butter. Here, let me You're try it. Wrong. Let me see. Oh, yeah! Give me a bite. <laughs> All right, let's try that. Wow. 
That's like a dessert. If you like the pumpkin bars, you will love these. They're really good. Yeah, they'd go great with coffee too. So Rosalie, thank you for asking me to make this. This was really good. What a difference with that little bit of... Yeah. Mmm. So let me know in the comments if you try this. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy. If only you could see. Don't you know that you're beautiful?